In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a computer to greet users with a chat GPT generated Python program. In addition, I'll show you how chat GPT generates text to explain how the program works. I'm going to open my browser and I'm going to type this prompt and you can see it says write a python program that asks the user their name and outputs hello followed by their name that is the name that they have entered you then click on to here and chat gpt will give you a response which you can see here this is the prompt that i typed in and you can see that chat gpt has responded with information here which says sure here's a simple python program that will prompt the user to enter their name and then greet them with hello followed by the name and here you can see it has given you the code it is now a case of copying the code by clicking here where it says copy code and then go across to your editor which i'm showing here and i've pasted this code into the editor and when i execute this this is the output i'm going to get you can see that this bit of the code has been responsible for putting this string here the user is now going to enter into this area their name as you can see and i've entered my name when i then hit return on the keyboard this string is going to be assigned to this variable here name this line will then output hello and this space and i'm then going to concatenate the name variable's content so what i should see at the output is this where that hello has appeared here and the name that i entered appears here to be more accurate this is the identifier that holds the reference to the string object that contains this string let's now return to the web browser and you can see here it says here's what the program does it says the first line prompts the user to enter their name and stores it in a variable called name i'll scroll so we can see the rest of it here it goes on to say the second line uses the print function to output the greeting message the plus sign operator is used to concatenate the string hello with the value of the variable name when you run the program it should look something like this and it gives you an example of the runtime and then it finishes off by saying i hope this helps let me know if you have any other questions well there is a question i wish to ask it and i'm going to place that in here and if we look at the question i'm asking you to please redo the program but this time use the f string i then will click on to here and let's see what the chat gpt gives us and we can see here that's my prompt that i gave and here it says sure here's the program using the f string instead what i can now do i can come to here and copy the code you then can go across to the editor and paste it in and then i'm going to run the program and you're going to see that this string here is placed in this position at the runtime i'm then going to enter john philip jones and that is then going to be assigned to the variable identifier name we then go on to this line here which you can see is using the f string now this means we don't have to use the concatenator operator that we saw in the last program and what's going to be output is the word hello and this is saying in this position because of these braces these curly brackets place what in the string variable name so what we will see at the output is this that's the hello placed here and the contents of this is john philip jones which you can see is placed here look to the syntax of the f string you start off with f here you can see that you have quotes in these positions so it's important to note where the quotes go and also where the f goes and this is an example of the f string
I am now going to return to the browser and you can see immediately after the code that I've copied, it comes here to say, here's what the program does. And this line is what we've seen earlier for the previous program. And I'll scroll so we can look at the next bullet point and you can see that here. And it says the second line uses the print function to output the greeting message using an F string. The F string is a formatted string that allows you to embed expressions inside string literals using curly braces. In this case, we're embedding the value of the name variable inside the string by placing it inside curly braces. And it goes on to say when you run this program, it should produce the same output as before. And it's given us an example of what that output would look like if you just entered the name John. Obviously, when I did it a moment ago, I entered John Philip Jones. And then here it says, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Now, I'd like to stress we are currently inside a chat. So I'm asking chat GPT a question. It's responding. I'm keeping the same chat open and then I'm asking it another question. And I can stay in this chat for as long as I like, asking various questions, in this case, about the program that I've got it to write for me. So I'm going to put another prompt in here to ask it a question. And the question I'm going to ask is, is it better to use the F string or the concatenate operator? And let's see what it does by clicking here. I'll click on there and it responds. It puts here the prompt I've just asked it. And then it gives me this lot. And you can see it says both F strings and the concatenate operator are valid ways to format strings in Python. Which one is better depends on your personal preference and the specific situation. Here are some factors to consider and it starts to list them. F strings can make your code more readable by allowing you to embed expressions directly in a string. This can be especially useful when you have multiple variables to include in a string. Goes on to say simplicity if you only need to concatenate a few strings together the concatenate operator might be simpler and more straightforward than an f string and of course i can't see the rest of three so what i'll do i'll scroll down and here you can see it says performance in general f strings are faster than concatenation when you have a large number of variables to include in the string however the performance difference is usually negligible in most situations now it's told us three things there now straight away you can see the power of learning with chat gpt but what i would recommend you also do is to go read the manuals now to see if what it's telling you is in fact accurate i think that's important when you start using these ai tools is it giving you the correct information it goes on here to say so if you're writing code for yourself or a team that values readability f strings can be a good choice if you need to concatenate just a few strings together, the concatenate operator might be simpler. And if performance is a concern, you can always benchmark both methods to see which one is faster for your specific use case. In the end, the most important thing is to be consistent with the style you choose and make sure your code is easy to read and maintain. So... You can see what we've done here. We've had a conversation with ChatGPT. I've asked it to write me a program. I've then said, well, rewrite this with the F string. Then I've gone on to ask it, can you compare the F string with the concat operator? And it's come back with information that I'm quite happy with. And it's a good way to progress your learning with, in this case, the Python programming language. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.